After contentious telephone town halls over a potential Alberta pension plan, the province announcing Friday it's pausing public consultations while they wait for a hard number from the feds. About 50% of Albertans say no, no, don't go to a APP. About 20, 25% have said we're in favor of it. And I'd say then 25 to 30 percent are are still uh, are still undecided, and they've said give us more information. The chair of the panel deciding whether or not to leave the Canada Pension Plan and start a provincial fund says half of Albertans oppose leaving the national pension plan. According to a LifeWorks report commissioned by the province, Alberta would be entitled to 334 billion dollars if they withdrew from CPP. Although many economists and political experts doubt that number is. Accurate. What we found is that the, the, the difficulty with that number was, was a barrier to further and frankly better conversations with Albertans about what an Alberta pension plan could look like. The province will ask the country's chief actuarial officer for a hard number and they're hoping that will influence Albertans' opinions one way or the other, but that could take until February. Alberta's finance minister couldn't commit to a date. I really don't think we can speculate. We know the chief actuary has better data than the publicly available data that LifeWorks had to use, but as far as timeline, I, I think any speculation would be kind of... Uh, challenging at this point. The opposition NDP's jobs and economy critic says Alberta's government should have had a real number in hand before starting the consultations. They're, they're now saying that uh, they're waiting for, um, for, uh, for the numbers from the feds, but frankly, they should have maybe had that number before they started on, on this process. They've already spent $8.5 million of Albertans' own money to begin on a process, uh, and, and they haven't uh, met with Albertans face-to-face. -face. Darcy Ropchan, City News.